Caleb, where were you uh, working out and living and when you got the call from the Giants? Like, how did you stay ready? Uh, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, my, my hometown, uh, just working, training, um, at tra traction, uh, athletic performance. Um, some guys there, uh, Durante Powers, Lawrence Burnett, um, just doing a great job at, at keeping me in shape, keeping me fine-tuned uh, for when the opportunity presented itself. Why was this opportunity the right one for you? I mean, did, did having a chance to play those guys have anything to do with it? <laughs> oh, it was a blessing. It was a blessing. Uh, got the call from my, from my agent, um, you know, saying that the Giants were calling, asking about me. I was actually working out when they called me. And my phone was dead, so I didn't get a chance to, <laughs> to answer right away. But um, I hopped in the sauna afterwards and, and, and got the news. So headed out, um, and I'm here. It feels great. What was, what was that, that like? To, what was that last few days leading into that? What was that like, that whirlwind moment? You were you know, there for 10 minutes, and then all of a sudden you're on the field playing your former team. Um, I'm a pro. I'm a pro's pro, a uh, guy that's, that's always going to be prepared and ready for the opportunity. Um, so that's that's really what it was. I've been playing the game since I was seven years old. So getting in here, learning the system, um, the coach is doing a great job um, at giving me the basics and allowing me to go out and just play my game. How do you think you did? I, I did well. I did well. I did well. Um, there's so much. There's so much more to improve, um, and that's the focus this week. Getting the playbook all the way down. Um, you know, getting ready to to get after the Eagles this weekend. How much was it? Did, how much were they trying to, you know, simplify things for you? I mean, you were there for two days. So yeah. was, it, was it just like, okay, we're going to make it so that the plays that you're in, you're, you're doing, you know, certain specific things that rather than, you know, yeah. reads I and mean, all kinds the, of stuff that, that might take time. And then, you know, this being my sixth year in the league, I've been in a, in a few systems now. So um, you, you, you kind of understand as time goes on that, you know, Teams are running the same stuff. It's just different terminology, uh, different formats, different ways to execute. Um, and it's all about, you know, consistency. So for me, it's just taking it day by day um, in, in, in learning. Does it, does it help? You're, you're, you've been an accomplished player for, for a period of time now, obviously, and but you're still young. And I'm just curious what it was like sitting and, and obviously being let go by two teams this year. What's the, what's, has that been humbling? Has it been you – know, what's the – What's the vibe been for you like that during the year? It's a humbling experience. Um, first year really dealing with the politics, uh, business side of the, of the National Football League. Um, but I'm a guy that's, you know, I've, I've been through so much, nothing can, can, can stop me. Um, I'm a guy that's going to continue to work, continue to learn. Um, just a humble servant, um, but a guy that's young and got a lot of ball left, um, you know, playing at a high level. Um, so it was, it was a blessing to be able to show that uh, verse, uh, you know, versus the, the team that drafted me last weekend, and uh, you know now it's just about moving forward. How would you like? How much would you like that that ball to be taking place here as you go forward? Man, day by day, um, these, this team has welcomed me. Um, these guys that I was drafted in the same class with, or um, you know, we've we've linked up and, and met before. I, uh, Leonard Williams' agent is my cousin, so. Um, you know, just understanding the whole dynamic of what New York offers. My brother spent some time here, so getting some great feedback on, um, you know, just the building, the locker room, uh, training staff, uh, me just taking it all in, but, but I'm focused. You look so jacked up after the first play. I thought you were going get, to get a taunting penalty. I mean, were you just happy to be out there? A blessing to be out there, playing the game I love, um, you know, being able to make a, uh, you know, the, a, di a dynamic play on, on my first play out there uh, or second play out there is just a great opportunity. Uh, getting a chance to hit somebody. Uh, you just happened to be my former teammate, and that was a good, that was, that was a good thing. I got up a little rowdy. All respect, though. All, re all respect. All respect. Does it help you that you obviously knew last week's opponent very well? This is a team that's, in the, that's been in your division for a while, so you know them well. Does that help kind of acclimate you to, the, to things quickly? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, being, you know, playing five years in NFC East, um, you know, you, you get a chance to learn the system, to learn how, you know, how teams operate, um, just some of the basic, um, you know, plays and formations that they'll run 10 years after I'm done playing. Uh, it's just how, how it works in, in the league, but specifically in the NFC East. Uh, we all know each other, so uh, a big week coming up. 
How much Why fun do you let go in Dallas and, and Green Bay? What were the circumstances on, in each of those scenarios? In, in, you know, at least what you were told or what was in your mind? Uh, just business and political. Uh, but for, for me, it's just about keeping my head up high. And, well, and you can. But what do you mean by business and political? I don't really understand that. I mean, is it a money thing? Or what, what, what? I can't really speak too much on it, but I'm, a ble I'm, I'm blessed to be here. That's my main focus is, is being here with the New York Giants uh, and, and, and finding a way to dominate. Um, getting in here, learning this playbook, um, getting great camaraderie with the guys, with the coaches, um, and doing whatever I'm asked. How much, how much do you have to prove? Or, you know, there's obviously people who doubted you, who, you know, the, the teams that, that got rid of you. Do you have a desire to show them that, hey, you know, they made a big mistake here. It's less of proving people wrong. It's more so of proving myself right, proving people that do believe in me right. Um, you know, I, I know what I can do. It's just about going out and continue to display that. It's something I've done my, my entire career. So it's, it's just a blessing to be able to play the game I love again. Jalen, two quick ones. Um, did you turn down opportunities over the last couple of months? like prior to getting the call the other day from the Giants? Like, did you have other opportunities that you said, not right now? I just, I focused uh, completely on, on my training and my agent did a great job um, at bringing, um, you know, the right opportunities you know, to us, so. What was it like wearing the, you know, the same number uh, Rod wore here? Oh uh, yeah, it's a blessing. It's a blessing uh, being able to, to, to wear my brother's jersey. Uh, like I said, he spent some time here uh, in New York wearing 45, so um, it's, it, it's all in the family. He's training, he's ready, uh, staying patient. So for, for me, it's just about going out here and, uh, and competing at a high level and, and adding value uh, to the team. What kind of conversations have you had with him about here? Um, just really how well-rounded people are. Um, you know, it's a lot of Notre Dame love here, so he, he kind of warned me about that. So that was that's a that's a blessing having some some uh, some familiar faces in the locker room with Tim and uh, Chad Clunder spent some time at Notre Dame as well. Um, but like I said, it's just it's just a blessing. Um, all these guys in the locker room, um, I respect and and they respect me. We've played against each other for a long time. So uh, for me to be wearing uh, this blue is 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 a great feeling in the Big Apple.